Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example and used set and reset coils. So today, in this video, we are going to discuss about the same example and instead of using set and reset coils, I will be using normally close contact and latching. So let's look at the example first. Example 10. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. And then if switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. So in this video, we will latch motor 1 and motor 2 and then only when we turn off switch 1, the outputs will still remain true. So we can also use memory bit here and then we will use a normally closed contact which will turn off motor 1 and motor 2 when switch 2 is turned on. So let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder logic for this example and use memory bits and normally closed contacts and latching. I will open eco structure machine expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where there is a list of different logic controllers. But I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. And then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ASCII TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMS 2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will draw a ladder diagram for the example. I will click on a full screen mode here and zoom into it. So I will insert one normally open contact here and a coil. And then I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. And then I will add symbol as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. And then symbol as motor 1. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 will be on. Then when switch 1 is off, motor 1 will be off. So we need that when we turn off switch 1, motor 1 should be on. So we will latch it. I will insert a normally open contact here and then connect it like this. So I will assign address to this contact same as output that is motor 1 Q 0.0. .0. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 will be on. And then when I turn off switch 1, motor 1 will still remain on. And we can draw same ladder diagram for motor 2. Or we can do an alternative that we use a memory bit. So I will <coughs> assign address to the coil as M0 and symbol as memory. 
yes. And then I will also edit the address assigned to this contact as M0. So when switch one is on, memory one will be true. And then when I turn off switch one, memory one still remain true. So I will use this memory bit to turn on the motors. So I will add a new rank here. I will insert a normally open contact and then two coils. Then I will connect the coil by drawing a line like this. So I will assign address to this contact as M0 which is memory 1 and then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0 which is motor 1 and Q 0.1. I will add symbol to this coil as motor 2. Yes. So when switch 1 will be on, memory 1 will be true and when memory 1 will be true, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then if we turn off switch, memory 1 will remain true. And when memory 1 will be true, motor 1 and motor 2 will still remain on. So if switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So we will take switch 2 as normally closed contact. That is, we will insert a normally open, normally closed contact and insert it here. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1 and then symbol as switch 2. Yes. So when switch 1 is on, memory 1 will be true. When memory 1 will be true, the current will flow through it as switch 2 is normally closed contact. The current will also flow through it and memory 1 sorry motor 1 and motor 2 will be on and then when we turn off switch 1 memory 1 still remains true and when memory 1 still remains true the current will flow through it as it is a normally closed contact and motor 1 and motor 2 also remain true and then when I turn on switch 2 as it is a normally closed contact when I turn it on, the current will not flow through it. As a result, motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So in this case, we have implemented latching and used normally closed contact. I will exit full screen mode here and then I will compile the program. Then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will click on full screen mode. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, memory 1 will be true. And when memory 1 will be true, the current will flow through it as switch 2 is normally closed contact. As a result, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then when I turn off switch 1, as we have implemented latching here, memory 1 will still remain true when we turn off switch 1. And when memory 1 is true, the current will flow through it and motor 1 and motor 2 still remain on. And then when I turn on switch 2, as memory 1 is true, the current will flow through it but switch 2 is a normally closed contact. When we modify it to true, the current will not flow through it. As a result, motor 1 and motor 2 will be false. So, when switch 1 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then, when switch 2 is off, 
motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. And then when switch 2 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.